Welcome to Open Box Education. In this video, I am going to explain about ASCII Adjust After Edition instruction. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share to your friends. So this ASCII Adjust After Edition instruction is simply represented as triple A. So this instruction is used after addition of two ASCII numbers. And this ASCII Adjust After Edition instruction checks the lower nibble of AL for one of the two conditions that is whether it is within the range of A to F and at the same time whether the auxiliary carry flag is set or not. So depending upon these two conditions this ASCII adjust after edition instruction performs the required corrections. So here to understand this ASCII adjust after edition I am giving two examples so that you can understand very easily. Consider the example 1 here. So here we have to add 5 and 4. These are the two ASCII values and get the sum into the register AL. So when you are doing this using assembly language program, here we have to convert this ASCII value 5 into the hexadecimal value that is the 35H and this ASCII value 4 also converted into the hexadecimal value that is 34H. So here when you are adding this 35H and 34H, we will get the result as 69H. So now here we have to check that the lower nibble. So this lower nibble is not within the range of A to F. And at the same time there is no carry transfer from lower nibble to upper nibble. When you are doing that at the addition of two hexadecimal numbers. So here this is the 3 and this is 5. This is 3 and this is 4. So when adding this 35H and 34H, we will get the result as 69H as a hexadecimal addition. So in this process, there is no carry transport from lower nibble to upper nibble. So that is why this auxiliary carry flag is set to 0. So when this condition is met, then this AAA instruction will make the upper nibble of the AL register to 0. That is, this 69H becomes to 09H. That is, by making that the upper nibble to 0. So after doing this one, to convert it back to ASCII code, here we have to do the OR operation with the hexadecimal value 30H. That is, this 09H value is OR operation with the 30H value so that we will get that correct ASCII value when you are converting that is hexadecimal to ASCII value. So here it is given in the form of a assembly language program. Here we are doing move AL comma 5. So here 5 is the ASCII value and the equivalent hexadecimal value is a 35H and that will be moved into AL register. Add AL comma 4. Here the equivalent hexadecimal value for the ASCII value of 4 is given as 34H. So this 34H will be added with the content of AL. So the content of AL is here 35. So you will get that 69H. So based on the conditions here we are making that the upper nibble to 0. So that the value of the AL register now it is given as 09H. So this 69H is converted into 09H by using this AAA instruction. And after that we are doing our operation with the content of AL register by the 30H hexadecimal value so that 09 our operation with the 30H so that we will get that 39H. So when you are converting this hexadecimal value into the ASCII you will get that the value as 9. So here when you are adding this 5 plus 4 you will get the answer as 9. So that is achieved with this AAA instruction. So to understand this program in simple manner I am giving in the table form. So this is the 35H that is nothing but the ASCII value of 5 in hexadecimal as 35H. For the ASCII value of 4 the hexadecimal is given as a 34H. So when it is converted into the binary format this 3 is represented as 0011 and 5 is represented as 0101 and 34 is represented as 00110100. When you are adding, you will get that 0110 and 1001. So the hexadecimal value is given as 69H. So based on the conditions, here we are making that the upper nibble to 0. 
so that we will get in the place of 69h we will get 09h and after that we are doing our operation with the 30h so we will get that the result as 39h so when you are converting this 39h into the ascii value then we will get the result as 9 so like this we can use this ascii adjust after addition this is the example 1 and now we will go for the example 2 here we have to add the two ascii values 7 and 6 and to get the sum into the al register so when you are converting this into the hexadecimal values for 7 it is given 37h and for 6 it is given as 36h and you will get the result as 6dh now you check that the lower nibble of the register al so the lower nibble of the register al is now greater than 9 and which is within the range of a to f and this is no longer representing as a decimal digit hence we have to add the plus 6 to this lower nibble that is the first condition and the second one is we have to clear the upper nibble of the register al and we have to set the carry flag and when you are doing this addition automatically the carry will be transferred from the lower nibble to upper nibble here so that the auxiliary carry flag is also set and we have to add 1 to the register ah and finally we have to do that our operation with the 3030h to get the ascii value so here i explained uh, in simple manner to understand uh, above procedure here we have the given the ascii values are 7 and 6 for the ascii the hexadecimal is given as 37h and for 6 it is given as 36h so when you are adding these two here you will get that 6dh so this lower nibble is greater than 9 and which is within the range of a to f so for this one we have to add plus 6 to the lower nibble that is here we have to add plus 6 to the lower nibble so that we will get that 73h so just do that hexadecimal addition operation here you will get that 73h now we have to make that the upper nibble to 0 so when you are doing that upper nibble to 0 here then you will get that 03h because here we are making this 7 to 0 because it is a upper nibble so that we will get that 03h and after doing this one here we have to add 1 to the ah register so here we have to add 1 to the ah register so ah now will contains the 0 1 and al now contains the 0 3 so that within the register ax we have the value 0 1 0 3 h now you do the r operation with this ax value so here you are doing r operation with the 3030 h so when you are doing r operation with 0103h with 3030h you will get that 3133h so when you are converting this into ascii value then you will get that 13 so here the 31 hexadecimal value the ascii is given as 1 and for 33 the ascii value is given as 3 so here you will get that 13 so like this we will use this ascii adjust after addition so for that the same program is given here move al comma 7 so that the 37 value will be moved into al and add al comma 6 so the 6 equivalent hexadecimal value is 36h so al value will be the 37h so it will be added you will get that 6dh uh, so 6dh here this d is a lower nibble and 6 is the upper nibble so this d greater than 9 and which is within the range of a to f so that we have to add plus 6 and we are making that the upper nibble to 0 so you will get that the AL value as 03H and now we have to make that AH value to 01 and we have to make that the carry flag to 1 so now we will get that 01 and uh, this is the AH value and the AL value is given as uh, 03 so now we are doing that the R operation with the 3030 so when you are doing with the 30 3 0 here you will get that 3 1 3 3 so this is the hexadecimal value when you are converting this into the ascii value you will get that 13 value so by this 
we can add two ascii values by using a assembly language program using 8086 microprocessor so this is about ascii adjust after edition hope you will understand about this instruction so thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education